Hi, I'm George, and I'm going to show you where you can find bees inside of Minecraft 1.15. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on subscribe as well, and also click on share. The more shares I get, the more videos I can make. Okay, let's get to it. I set this game up back when the bees first began showing up in the beta snapshots and I set it up just for doing these bee videos. So now I'm in creative right now. Now if we go over here, you kind of see it on the back tree back there. I'm going to get rid of that flower out of my hand. There we go. And let's just switch around and we'll go over to that tree. And it's way back here. That's the first beehive I found right there, actually bee nest that I found right there inside of this game. So that's why I built all my demonstration stuff right over here, because I found that one bee nest right there. Now also in this same game I found another bee nest. Let's just go into flying mode here. This is the main reason why I wanted to be in creative at the moment. Now over here, in this little couple of trees right back here, I also found another bee nest inside these trees. I took that bee nest out in a previous video, but that's where I found it. And you notice one thing about these, these are both on planes. There's a planes right here, standard planes, and there are trees either in the planes or next to the planes, right next to the planes. That's what you're looking for. Now, bees can show up in planes or flower planes or sunflower planes. The way I think about this is just look for a nice plane with some flowers in it and some trees around the edges, and there's a chance that you'll find a bee nest in there. So I found two in this very close vicinity. That's a tree right back there and over in this clump of trees right here. I also found another bee nest way back over here and it's over in this clump of trees. I put a campfire next to it so it's easy for me to find again. And that was way over here. Again I'm in some plains right here and there are some trees against the edge and there's another bee nest right down there. So I found that one as well. And then I found one more. If I follow back on this campfire over here, it took me a little bit of time to find this one. And I've used this one for some of my demonstrations in here. So you can see how far apart these bee nests can actually get. They're not really frequent. They'll be spaced apart pretty far. Oh, there it is, way over here. Okay, so this is a long ways to go before I found another one of these bee nests. But again, as you can see here, I have a plane right there, a nice plain area. It's surrounded by trees and it has flowers in it. And that's really what you're looking for. And then this bee nest is inside of that one tree right there, right against the edge of this plane and with those flowers. Okay, let's go and take a look at one more. I did some more searching and I found one more and it was quite a ways away. I wanted to show you this so you can see exactly how far you may have to go in order to find some bees. Let me just line myself up on this. Okay, I have my big bee thing there, and there's that bee nest right there. Okay, let me get right next to this bee nest right here, right next to my smoke. Okay, there's that campfire and that one bee nest. There's one we just looked at back there by that campfire right there. And then over here, I've got another one off in the distance someplace. See if I can find that should be able to spot my next campfire. Now I've done a lot of exploring and I found a few. There it is right there. I found a, a couple of bee nests. Let me show you the next one that I found so you can see how far apart these things can actually get. I just put some campfires down just to act as visual markers to be able to find these things again. We'll fly right past that one and then straight on down we'll find our next marker. Right now you won't find any bees in this kind of territory here. This is all forest. You won't find any bees in forest. They may come into a forest to find flowers. So you may occasionally see bees in here, but you won't see their nests. Okay, there's my next marker. Just go past this one. We're now moving into plains area. And this is what you want to be looking for. You want to look for plains areas like this that have some scattered trees in them and some trees around the edges. That's where you're going to be finding your bee nests if there are any around. Now, none of these trees had any nests in them, so I just kept on going. But I note this is the right kind of area. Okay, there's my next marker back there. So all the way back here, and at that little tree right there, that's where I found the next bee nest. So as you can see, they can be quite a ways away. 
they're not going to be all over the place. You won't be finding a lot of bees. They're going to be pretty far apart. And it takes a lot of exploring to find these things. Let's just go ahead and come in here and land right there. There we go. So there's the next bee nest that I found. As you can see, it's a long ways away. Now there's a bee around here someplace. I don't know if he is off gathering pollen or if he is inside of his nest. It could be either one. And I don't know if I have one, two, or three bees here at this point. So when you find a bee nest, what you want to do is either breed the bees, so they have more bees to work with, or take a bee and take it back to, there's a bee, you know, take it back to your location, hopefully put it inside of a greenhouse, you won't lose that again. The first thing I always do here is just to plant a lot of flowers. Bees like flowers. That's to give this bee some more flowers here. They also like a variety of flowers. So put some different things down. And they're more likely to hang around if they have some of these flowers. Now I'm only seeing just this one bee right now. If I had two bees, I could breed them right now. We'd be in much better shape. I'm only seeing just the one. So Let's put down a new house here for our bees. I'll just put a scaffolding right there. And then let's put a beehive on the front. Oh, two bees. Okay, let's quickly breed these bees real fast. There we go. That'll give us a third bee right away. There it is. You want to breed them as fast as you can so you get more bees. And the bee nest will only hold three or so bees. So you want to begin building them new places to hang out like that. And the reason why I put this one on a scaffolding up here is I wanted to have a space underneath so I can put a campfire down there. There we go. That will let me then collect honey from that. So to collect honey, you have to have a campfire underneath, either a beehive or a bee nest. Now, they'll go flying a long ways away to find you know more pollen, more flowers to pollinate, but they should come back to their standard beehive or bee nest. Let's see if we can see where they've gone off to. You've gone out of here somewhere. There it is. There's one. So they're flying around around there. So there you go. That's where you'll find these bees. As you can see, they can be a long ways away. And you're only going to find one bee nest in a large area. I mean, there's no other bee nest anywhere around there. I checked all of this stuff. I went way down over that way. I went quite a ways out this way, quite a ways down there. I didn't find any more bee nests anywhere around this one. So they're pretty sparse. So you want to use that flower and begin to breed them as fast as you can and give them more places to hang out in. And then when you have enough bees ready to go, then you can begin to move them over to your greenhouse or just build a greenhouse right around this when you have them inside. But taking them to an existing greenhouse is the easiest way to do that. But there you go. Let me just go back up into our flying mode here. So that's the kind of area you need to be looking for to find the bees. You want these big plains like this. You want to have some scattered trees. I found them about half the time in individual trees or about half the time in little forest areas right up against a plains like we have right back over in here. And there's something like, like that right over in there. So that's the kind of area to look for. A lot of plains, look for some flowers around there. And then there's a good chance you're going to find some bees around there someplace. But again, they're pretty sparse. You're not going to be finding them all the time. And you won't find them all over the place. So be a little patient on them. And you should be able to find some bees. Then it's just a matter of breeding your bees. And then either clicking your honey right there or taking them back to your greenhouse. Make sure that you take a look at my video on working with bees in survival mode. In that one, I show you how to collect honey in survival mode, how to breed your bees, and how to take them from a nest or a hive over to a greenhouse. I cover all of that in survival mode in another video, and I'll put that in the description and also right up there in the cards. Let's just fly this back to the home base. So that's the kind of territory you want down here, just these nice large fields like this, nice plains. Look for some flowers and then look for trees along the edges of those or also trees you know kind of separate trees in the middle of those plains areas and then hopefully you can find some bees around there now, again you won't find them all the time but you will find them relatively frequently okay now if you like this video make sure you hit that like button and of course click on share as well the more shares i get the more videos i can do don't forget to subscribe and take a look at my channel as well for all of my other Minecraft videos. Also for my other videos that I do on Photoshop and Photoshop Elements and some other graphics programs as well. 
Okay, and as we approach my home base here for my B videos, we'll leave it here, and I'll see you next time.